Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you the recovery process for the Ricoh Magic USA dual core device. Here you can see the device and read a little about it in the product box. So, we start by going to RicoMagicUSA.com, the product's website. Next, we click on Activation and Downloads, where you'll be asked to enter the serial number of your product. This can be found on the box the product came in. Once done, you'll be taken to the next page where you'll enter your name and email. After that, you'll arrive at the download page where you'll be able to download the necessary recovery files. Now remember, there are two versions of the product, dual core recovery and quad core recovery. As you can see here, you can tell which device you have by looking at this notation on the outside. With that information, you can download the proper files. The files are downloaded in a zip file, which you will need to extract. Once extracted, open the extracted folder and start the RK batch tool as seen here. Once the batch tool is running, we will access the IMG file that is included. It can be found in the extracted folder, which in my case is on the desktop. After that, we will connect the device to the computer. This device will be connected using this OTG port. Now, there is a similar looking port right here, but make sure to use the OTG port when connecting the device. Inside the box, you will find this USB cable to use for connecting. And lastly, we're going to need a small paper clip to complete the process. First, connect the OTG. Second, use the paper clip to press the small button found in the small recovery hole. And third, connect the USB end of the cable to your computer. Now, once connected, Windows will automatically search for a driver for this device, and it will not be able to find one, but we'll fix that. First, we will go to Devices and Printers on the Start menu, and we will see this unknown device. We'll click Properties, then the Hardware tab, and then Properties again. Next, click Change Settings, the Driver tab, and then click Update Driver. Here it asks where we want to find the driver, and we will click Browse My Computer for Driver Software. After that, we must be sure to choose the proper driver from the folder we downloaded and extracted earlier. In my case, it is found on the desktop. Then, click the driver and driver, and now it depends on what version of Windows you have, whether you have 64-bit or 86. I have 64, and I have Windows 7. Then, we click OK and click Next. Alright, so Windows has successfully updated your driver software. We'll just click Close, and then close everything we don't need. Now, we disconnect the USB port. Before reconnecting it, be sure to press the small recovery button with the paperclip once again. Then reconnect the USB cable to the computer. Alright, once you see this green here, you know the connection is good. And now, we just click Restore. Give it a few minutes to go through its process to format the device. Once you see this green line, you know the process has completed successfully. 
After that, you can disconnect your device and start using it. Remember to give the device a little bit more time than normal the first time you boot it up, because it takes a little longer after a recovery. After that, it will boot much faster. Thanks for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please press like, and if you have any questions, please put them below this video. Thanks for watching.